I've secured this bit of wood to up here um, and I've got these self-drill, self-tap uh, metal screws to screw into the van um, but because of the thickness of the wood I'm going to have to counterbore the wood so the screw head will sit inside the um, bit of wood slightly and then it will give it enough length on there to, to screw into the van as well. So these are my screws, um, I've got a 13mm spade bit here um, so that's going to drill the drill the counter bore. You want like you want a flat bottom drill bit really, but I've got these, so they'll do the job. And the 30mm is going to clear the head of the screw nicely. That's all I'm going to do. Line it up with my holes that I marked. About halfway down. And then you can see. There's a nice counter bore, so the head of the screw will sit inside that um, and then give it the, the depth out that it needs out the back. I've just uh, put my screw in, so you can see that it's sitting in there now, see what I mean? Um, so it's only poking out that much, so basically I need to do, drill my counter bore a lot deeper. So I'm just going to keep doing that until I find the right depth and then do them all to that depth. <laughs> You can see here, got the wooden batten along the side now. Screws counterboard in. And that's nice and sturdy. That's not going anywhere. And the same this side. The uh, the reason for these, there's a specific reason for these wooden battens and I'm tempted to leave it a secret because I think it'll be quite cool. But maybe some of you can guess based on what I've just said. Just put the panel on now. So I've used these uh, Self drill, self tap, nut or bolts, what you want to call them, um, into the wood. At the top, this side wall of the van, it sits flush against here and flush against here. Um, and you can see there's quite a big gap, maybe around 30 or 40 mil, um, especially at the bottom here. So the wall will sit along here and then it wants to continue straight. But because there's no support this side, basically what happens is the wall, if we take this as the wall, it starts to slope in on an angle like that. You can see this black straight line along here. So what happens when the wall is fitted against there, obviously I want it nice and straight following that black line, but because it's flexible ply, as it tends, to, especially towards the end, what happens is the, the plywood ends up sitting in that corner like that on this, on this big angle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put a, put a bit of wood in here to act as a support following on from this wall. So the back of the, the the front part of the wood will be in line with this, and then it will give the ply wall something to sit against and screw the bottom into. So what I've got to do this with, I have some wood here. So I find an appropriate bit out of my stock of wood. This is the supporting piece of wood that's going to support the bottom of the wall. Um, so. I've just marked out where the battens are roughly and then marked out roughly where I'm just going to screw in. Um, so the wood is 30mm thick, the floor is 9 and the battens are 25 Um So I've got these 50mm screws which will go through the, uh, the wooden support, the floor and dig into the batten a little bit as well. So that is going to get screwed down now. Here we have the original uh, ply panel that was on the the driver's side wall of the van and we've marked out, we're going to reuse it, uh, so we've marked out for the window cutout, obviously the window wasn't there before, so we're going to drill a hole in the corner um, and then use a jigsaw to cut that shape out. I've left it, I've done it conservatively so it's it, the gap's smaller than what it needs to be so we can always trim it off after but we can't add more wood on. So because this panel was the original one in the van, I'm going to reuse it. Um, I need to cut off 25mm from the uh, bottom of it because now it's got the floor in it and the, the floor has been raised by 25mm so I'm just going to mark out and cut 25mm off the bottom of this panel so it sits in the same position as it did before. So we're looking at building out the window frame now and um, so we cut the window hole in the ply, original ply and then what we're going to do is cut these battens which are 20, 22 by 38 I think um, and we're going to basically take this out and then we're going to screw and glue that on there and then that, when that's fixed against there that'll give you like a windowsill and then we'll just bring the carpet over and round to tidy off the, 
the window edge. So that's what we're going to do now. We just screwed the uh, window frame to the um, ply wall just to mock it up and see what it fits. So we've just got a few adjustments to do um, and then that'll be ready to be have a bead of adhesive ran around it and then uh, and then screw to the ply wall. I'm just going to run a little bead of some adhesive along the batten and then screw it onto the ply wall. We've got the window frame screwed in now, screwed and glued. So I'm going to lay this carpet back down onto the lay the carpet down onto the ply panel and then we'll go from there. window carpet out and look at uh, carpeting around the window frame. We've uh, carpeted the window sill now, so we've got a bit of a ledge there. It's hard to see with the lighting. All the way around, there's there, still access the window. So nice little window area all done. And that marks the end. Thank God of all the walls and carpeting of walls. So good job, job. Thank God that the walls are finally up. That seemed to have taken longer than I thought it was getting, but as does everything. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.